road. You can see the sign 45 miles an hour there. Now to our other big story tonight. Cleanup crews along the Ohio River are playing the waiting game as the water slowly begins to recede. Chopper 9, the only local helicopter in the air earlier today, giving us an eagle's eye view of the flooding in some of the hardest hit parts. Tonight we have team coverage of the cleanup that will follow the next couple of days. Flood water is obvious along the Ohio River, a quarter of a mile away. You wouldn't necessarily expect to see high water, but one school district is going to have some cleanup on its hands too in the next couple of days. Evan Millward is live now in Newport with what is attracting some gawkers there. Evan? Well, it doesn't sit right along the Ohio River, Jason, but if you look at it right now, you wouldn't know it. This is Newport High School's football field under a couple of feet of water. The baseball and softball field right behind the camera are the same way. Again, judging by where it is on the goalposts and on the benches and trash cans out there, it's a couple of feet. I'm not going to go out there and show you how deep it is, though, because this water is disgusting. Why do I say that? We'll take a look at some of this video we shot a little bit earlier. This first shot up, yeah, that's a porta john turned over in the middle of all this uh, water that has flooded the athletic facility here. I'm told this was caused by some pipes backing up, but a lot of the folks who have stopped by to take pictures say it has never flooded this bad, at least not for decades that they've seen. We ran into some folks who came out looking for a, a place to play some basketball after all the other courts near the Ohio River were washed out. Here's what they had to say. I, I didn't expect this, my man. Not, not as bad as this. It's, this is crazy. It's crazy. It's, but, you know, it's a beautiful day, so make the best out of it. Well, that family named this the Kentucky Beach. Another name for this, I just talked to the field director here at Newport High School. He called this Lake Wildcat, and unfortunately, he fears that that uh, new turf they put down about five years ago is going to have to come out, but it's going to be a process they can't even begin to think about until this water starts to go back down. We're live outside Newport High School tonight. I'm Evan Millward, 9 on your side. Oh, what a mess. Thank you, Evan, for mm -hmm. that report.